And in business news, the Lagos State Government, through the Ministry of Wealth Creation and Employment, today commenced the Graduate Internship Placement Program for post-NYC graduates to expand their knowledge and gather enough experience uh, to give them an edge to secure employment or stand out as independent entrepreneurs. The program kicks off in 16 different locations across the state today. Abin Bola Kintaju was at one of the centers and she brought back this report. Lagos stands as the largest city in Nigeria and Africa. Experts forecast that its population could reach 30 million by 2035. An issue in dire need for a structured plan is the need for increased youth employment. Some identified reasons for unemployment are lack of job opportunities, which takes 21%, insufficient qualifications, 13%, and economic downturn, 10%. To reduce the level of unemployment in the center of excellence, Governor Baba Judy Songwolu's administration through the Ministry of Wealth Creation and Employment, in collaboration with Intermark Consulting and other private sector players, have flagged off this graduate internship placement program. It's about bridging the gap um, between um, education and employment. So we're doing this to make sure that we reach out to people that are out of job, or people that are on this, uh, underdeveloped, how do we take them off the street? That's why we put this program together. So we had like a mediator between us and the private sector, how we can work together. It's intended that at the end of this program, the participants would have been well trained in um, self-management, office um, behavior, um, entrepreneurship, and other courses that um, will be relevant to them for, for employment. Commissioner for Wealth Creation and Employment asserted that the program will not only nurture the young graduates professionally, but also supports their skills in other various industries. The training is not just about um, job placement alone. We're training them on entrepreneurship too as well, you know, when they can even do things on their own. So it, it, it falls onto, um, into different um, sectors. So it, the continuity about it is that they will have the self-knowledge that will guide them to be self-disciplined, to be poised in anywhere they, you know, we're just starting from the phone etiquette to their personal life. But this is a stopgap that government have put in place to teach the skills in terms of you know, preparing them for the workspace, especially the workspace of the future. So there's going to be a couple of digital literacy training as well. Uh, there's going to be um, skill acquisition in terms of um, capacity development and so on. Participants were advised to harness this opportunity to enable them transit smoothly from the walls of institutions to become employers of labor. Cash dispensing merchants, otherwise called POS operators, play unique roles in the financial system. But it has been noticed that banking institutions collaborate with POS operators and in some quarters, some says to rip off customers through excessive charges. F. Young Ekop as details in this report. Money merchants are everywhere. You see them on busy streets, offices, restaurants, churches, and the parks. These roadside cash operators perform useful transactional functions that are timely. I like collecting money from POAs. Because when you get to any POS, you give them your ATM, you are going to collect amount what you want. But when you go to a bank to collect money from there, when you get there, you will be disappointed. There will, not more, there will not be money from ATM. So that is why I like going to POS more than bank. The work in contrast to traditional banking institutions seem generally relinquishing their cash dispensing functions to these roadside agents since ATM machines of banks hardly hold cash for customers. When they go to the bank, they you know there is a lot of queue on the bank. So when they do go to the bank, they might queue. And they do, some people don't like queuing, you understand? They would like to do their, this thing, their transaction immediately and they would like to leave the, you understand? Many of the banks act in great suspicion. They procure diverse POS machines, negotiate terms and charges with roadside cash dispensers and route huge funds from their vault to profit sharing agents who take undue advantage of customers in need of cash. The only thing they do is that if you want a cash, you understand they can give you because 
you are the POS attendant, you understand? They can render as as little as they can. They can render help for you, for POS attendants. Current banking system in Nigeria relies on excessive charges on customers' accounts rather than offering satisfactory services. People wonder why the Central Bank of Nigeria care less about poor business ethics exhibited by the banks. When banks merely decorate their premises with colorful ATM machines, which hold no monies for customers, the actions marks social frauds on the part of the banks. If young Ecop TV News, Lagos.